Timo, how does it feel to sort of be here from day one this time, contract done, and you're ready to sort of get to work in your first full season? Yeah, it's uh, it's really exciting. I think uh, everybody is excited from staff, um, players, everybody. Fans should be excited too to get the season started. So I think uh, yeah, it's kind of like first day of school again, uh, seeing everybody, seeing everybody back on the ice and just getting to work with the guys. Get a you know we had a good first skate, and uh, you know obviously it's going to be tough, but. Just being out there with the guys, preparing for uh, the new season, it's, it's a lot of fun. I know training camp can tend to be tedious just because it's very long, but one of the things that Lindy said a lot last year before you came was we set the tone for our season and how well we did with our training camp. In your experience, is that something that's really true and can happen and is important? Yeah, 100%. I mean, uh, you know, training camp, you set, you set the foundation for the season, just how you go out there, the attitude. Um, you know, I think the harder you work, together the tighter you get as a, as a team so I think that's really important everybody has the right mindset everybody's pulling on the same string and uh, you know it's just yeah it's that time of the year and I think you know everybody worked hard over the summer does their summer summer preparation and comes here and, and you want to show uh, what you got I think uh, you know guys trying to make the team guys that have been here um, you want to you want to earn your spot and I think that's what we come here and we got to push each other to get better every day. Uh, Timo, with, with you being able to get kind of, you know, your first impressions of, of a Devils training camp, just how how's it look so far, and and you know, what, what are the kind of the conversations have been like with the coaching staff, with Lindy specifically about the goals for the year? Yeah, I mean, for for me, it's uh, it's new, a little bit, uh, yeah, a lot of new stuff. I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, I've only seen one training camp for, from San Jose, so I was uh, probably just as excited as uh, some of the rookies coming into their first uh, training camp. But you know, the message. Is uh, is simple that uh, you know we just gotta keep improving. We gotta work to ma- together. We gotta be a connected group and start right from the day one. Be being a good teammate, being a hard work, and you know I think competes the the biggest thing they want to see uh, out of everybody. I think that's that's what sets the goal and and, and just kind of the mindset of how how we uh, how we compete out there. In, in early impressions of, of Alexander Holtz uh, and how he looks out there, how he is obviously on on your line. Yeah, he's got. A, Great skill set, um, you know, a young guy. I think for him, you know, the sky's the limit. Just, you know, it's important for him that just kind of come in every day and, and, and keep working on this game and stay patient too and just give it everything he's got. And, you know, he's got a great, great skill set, great shot. So it's uh, it's fun to be out there with him and, and then just get to work. Timo, what impressed you most uh, playing with Jack Hughes last year? Just, uh, you know, he's obviously a really skilled player we all uh, seen what uh, what he can do with the puck and how he skates but um, what, uh, kind of uh, the, the thing I, I saw in him that uh, really impressed me was the, the way he competes you know he, you see it in the playoffs he's a he's a smaller guy he's not the you know uh, the, the most physical guy but he competes on every puck he he goes in on 50 50 pucks so I think that's you know what you want to see out of a, a guy like that, and it sets the tone for everybody else. That uh, you know, if a guy like that competes that hard, um, it should motivate everybody else to compete. Uh, yeah, kind of give it all they got. Did you did you personally take away anything from last year's playoff experience with this club for you personally last year? That going into this season, you know, and as the season draws on, that you'd want to perfect or improve even more. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, you know, being in the playoffs again, uh, you just kind of you know how how tough it is and. You know, it's 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 a grind. So I think it should be a motivation for all of us. Um, you know, the way we went out, just it should make us better. Um, and 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 it starts now. I think we're all hungry. We want to get back to that spot so we can show everybody what we what we've got and and, and how the Devils play, how we compete. So, uh, but it's it's a long way, uh, a ways now. So it's it's one day at a time. It's one practice at a time. And you just gotta, like I said, go out there compete as a team and then um, you know once uh, October 12th um, starts you know you did your homework over training camp and then you feel confident and ready to go. You've been on teams that have been really championship contenders in San Jose I mean coming into every season it seems like you guys were on the short list made the cup final been the conference final at the time is there a, a way you can manage those expectations with this group because they kind of came out of nowhere last year and obviously you were mid-season acquisition but is there a, uh, a way for you to sort of teach them how to go into a season with cup caliber expectations or manage them from someone who's been there before? Yeah, um, you know, going into the season, every every team sets their goal, uh, wants to make the playoffs. So you got to know uh, you're not the only team out there working hard. So um, I think it's important to not think too far. 
um, like I said, we start with the day one. Uh, we get the day one down, up, done, uh, done now. But next, next uh, practice is tomorrow. Um, come in and, and get one percent better. I think that's that's kind of the, the thing you gotta you gotta keep in your head. Just to move uh, day by day and just make sure you you're taking a step forward every day. And like I said, push each other. Um, there's got to be comp- competition within the team. That's gonna make everybody better. The contract signed um, and, and everything settled now. Have, do you feel like you finally, you know, are, are settled in and, and able to go see New Jersey? And, and what do you think of the area? <laughs> yeah, definitely takes a little stress off your mind. I mean, that's that's no secret. And uh, so uh, I got to come in a little early uh, here to Jersey and, and, and experience a little bit of the area. And I mean, the weather's been beautiful. So uh, beautiful area, and you know, it feels feels like home already. Do you have any message you'd like to give to the Devil fans? What's that? Do you have any messages in particular you'd like to give to the Devil fans? I mean, uh, we're super excited um, to get this thing going. Um, they've been so great, uh, you know, the time I've been here last year. So I'm just uh, super excited to, to see them all uh, back at the Rock. And, you know, they should be just as excited as we are because, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun fun season with highs and lows. But, we're uh, yeah, we're getting ready for it now. Timo, obviously it's the uh, first day, but anything can change. Uh, but you're with Nico. Does that feel like something that uh, is a good fit for you? And do you anticipate staying there? I mean, I'm trying not to read in too much into the lines. Uh, we know Lindy shuffles things around. So I think uh, it's it's important that you just go out there and whoever is on your side, um, you, you push him. You try to make him better um, in the way that you give it your best. You push the pace. So um, whoever's... Whoever I'm going to play with, I think we got so many uh, good players on this on this roster. I don't I don't think um, there's anybody that I don't want to play with. They're, they're all super, uh, yeah, awesome players. So I think I'm excited for that as well. Timo, with a player of your style of play, what's the secret to maintaining health and playing and sustaining yourself for a full season? Yeah, I mean, lots of work. It's got to be done over summer. I think uh, you, you set your preparation and, and, and kind of your your fundamentals in, in the summer. Um, obviously rehabbing after playoffs and just getting all the bumps and bruises uh, healed and then just setting your body up for, for training camp and do your work in the gym and, and, and all that. And I think that's, uh, yeah, I've always tried to really push myself over summer so I come in feeling comfortable. I think it gives me confidence if I know I did, did my work in the summer. Um, just come here and, and, yeah, give everything right from the start. Tyler Tifoli also comes from the Western Conference for the majority of his career. What are your expectations for him for this year and the difference maybe between the, the West and the East? Yeah, he's a great add to our team. He's got, uh, you know, lots of experience. He's won a Stanley Cup, so I think uh, that alone says a lot about him. Um, played played against him a lot. He's a, he's, a, he's a hard player to play against. He's, he's very smart, got a, you know, great nose around the net, and he, he's a guy that can finish. So uh, really excited to have him here. And, uh, yeah, I haven't been on the ice with him now, so... But uh, looking forward to uh, seeing him in action. Timo, it was, it was talked about so much last year, but but with Patrice Bergeron retired, uh, do you think Nico kind of takes that that next step into that, you know, serious selkie kind of candidate? There? Yeah, I mean, Nico uh, showed last year what kind of player he is, and uh, he's he's still he's still improving. Um, you know, same for him. Sky's the limit. He he uh, he comes in every day and, and works on his game. So I'm I'm excited to. Keep going out there and, and get better every day, and uh, see where uh, yeah where it's going to take him. But uh, you know I'm really excited to uh, to be on the team with him. I mean uh, he's not just a, a great hockey player; he's also a great uh, human. So I think uh, yeah a lot of big big character and big personality that we have in our team with Nico. Nico, year seven for you. Does it kind of feel crazy that this much time has gone by already? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean. Uh, doesn't feel different to be here, though. I'm excited. But, uh, yeah, I mean, seven years goes fast. One of the things that we heard from Lindy a lot and from you guys last year was the way you guys set the tone in training camp really changed the course for your year. Is that like an every year kind of thing? And how much do you maybe think about that going into this training camp? Yeah, training camp is uh, really important. Uh, we had a really good one last year, and uh, we want to set the bar uh, high right away again. And... Uh, we want to work on our our system. We want to work on our legs uh, from day one, and uh, it started. So uh, yeah, we just uh, we're all ready to go, excited to go, and uh, now it's listening and uh, doing on the ice. Nico, did you uh, did, did you and, and Timo and, and Jonas kind of see each other at all this summer? Um, 
I didn't. I did not. I saw Jonas a couple of times, but we're we all over Switzerland a little <laughs> bit and uh, uh, working out with different workout groups. So uh, we didn't see us that much. No. And what, do, what, do you, what are your expectations for a guy like Alexander Holtz? Obviously, playing on, on your line today. Uh, what have you seen from him at, at first practice, and what do you think uh, of, of his expectations going into the year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, a uh, big year for him. But uh, what I've seen so far, I like it. He's, he's been working on, on, on himself a lot. Uh, he knows it's a big year for him, and uh, he probably expects a lot from him uh, himself as well. So, uh, but. I'm, I'm excited to be with him on the line, be with him in, in the training camp group and uh, just try to help him as much as I can, but he'll do his own way. Uh, he's, he's a great kid and uh, you see he's been working hard this summer. What are your expectations for this group after what you were able to accomplish last season? Um, well, like, take another step again. Uh, we've been uh, so pa patient about it uh, all the years and uh, now this year doesn't change. Uh, starts from zero. Uh, we had a good year, but that's in the past. Uh, we want to look forward. Uh, we want to obviously um, get right back to it where we ended and uh, focus on a really good start because that definitely helps. And uh, try not to look too much ahead and uh, take game by game. Uh, every like ten sec game segment by by every ten sec game segment sequence and uh, yeah, just working on our game from, from right now. Does it feel different with the expectations of what they are as opposed to past years? Um, I mean, yeah, definitely it, it is different. I think it uh, makes it uh, even harder too, I feel like. Yeah, we got to be ready. We It's nothing going to be easy. You know, I would say it's going to be even harder. So the team's going to be ready for us this year. But uh, that's what you want. Uh, you want those expectations to be high. And uh, we... We all have expectation, really high expectation, and, and uh, that's how we be how you become a winning team, and uh, that's what we're looking for. You just mentioned taking a step forward, but what exactly is the process for that? Well, grow as a group, grow as a group, uh, game by game, um, and like I said, not try not to look too much ahead, but still first making this playoff again. I mean, it's. It's not an easy league. It's 32 teams. Half of the teams go on vacation. Uh, it's, it's that m must be the focus right now. Uh, but like I said, every game, take every game a game. Work on your skill. Work on your game. Um, and we got some new guys coming in. So having this team chemistry, work on that, and uh, get ready for like uh, eventually the playoffs and uh, if we make it. What does it mean having someone like Tyler Jacoli with that leadership that he brings and having one Puffs and you know, all of his experience now? That's just big for us. I mean, uh, now we got him in. Uh, he's, he's wanted it too, so uh, he can just help us. That's that's all I can say. He's a guy that uh, helps our group. Uh, he's a veteran guy. He does a lot of things right uh, on the ice. That's why we got him and uh, definitely off the ice as well because uh, we're getting in here uh, Good hockey players, but also good persons with good characters, and that's what uh, this this organization is about. So we're we're glad to have him here, and uh, I mean, been talking to him a bit already. It seems like a great guy, which which is obviously awesome, and uh, we're we're happy to have him. Nico, what, what were some of the improvements you saw in Jack Hughes over the course of last season, and then and then in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, for me, he was always great. <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, uh, yeah, it's just feel like he just comes out and gets to another level every time again and uh, it's just said it before it's great to have him on our team and not defend him so uh, he's a uh, uh, unbelievable player and uh, I'm, I'm glad uh, I could call him my teammate. Nico, what is it like to or what's the feeling like to look back at the summer and see that Timo signed long term, yes we're signed long term and the core is really here for a long, the long haul? Feels good. I mean, definitely it feels good uh, to see these guys committed as well. And uh, having this group around you longer, uh, that helps. I mean, uh, you know how fast it can go in this business. So uh, having this getting done uh, definitely means something. And uh, it's a statement from them as well. So uh, they want to be here. They want to achieve something here. And uh, uh, yeah, they want to, like, like I used to say, we want to be part of the solution. So it's, it's great to have them here. 
How much more difficult do you think it'll be for this team to even qualify for playoffs, knowing teams knowing what you did last year and how much you improved? Well, it will, it will be difficult for sure. Uh, it's 82 game season. Uh, it's it's National Hockey League. Uh, every team has loaded up this summer too and uh, wanted to get a better team as well so uh, you just gotta like I said take game by game improve your game improve as a team game by game uh, definitely not be not be easy and uh, we can't have this mindset at all so uh, we gotta get ready for a difficult year. Nico obviously you were a, a Selkie finalist last year but with, with Bergeron retiring does, does the goal of, of winning that almost get a little little more real now? I don't focus too much on that. Alex, just watching you out there, it really seems that, you know, we've seen you all last year kind of working on your skating and getting faster and quicker. Do you feel that you've taken another step in your skating right now? Yeah, I would say that. Uh, I worked a bunch this summer, so I'm glad to and happy to be back and uh, feeling good out there. Just trying to, yeah, use my speed, use my game and, uh, yeah, try to be better. What were some of the elements of your skating that you really wanted to focus on to, to improve? I just feel like faster right now, uh, more control of everything too. So when I turn and stuff and switch from yeah side to side, I feel like everything there is more comfortable. And yeah, if you have that, that improves your game and you feel more confident out there. And that's a huge part. One of the things we see you out there with Timo and Nico, what does it mean to you about the opportunity that you will get? Obviously, lines will end up changing, but from the get-go, Lindy Ruff and his staff putting you in a position there with two of the top players on this team. No, it's fun. It's an awesome opportunity for me. Uh, like you said, two of, it's two of the best guys in this league, too. So it, it's really fun to be out there playing with them and learn from them as well because I'm still very young. So, no, really fun to be able to skate with them today. How did you spend your summer? What did you kind of work on all summer? Ooh, uh, <laughs> I've, been, <laughs> I've been working on a lot, so worked out a bunch. Uh, Where, back home? Or? Back home in Sweden. So I've been skating a lot with my skating coach. Uh, yeah, uh, different stuff all the time, and then worked a bunch in the game too. Uh, Alex, kind of walk us through what, what your what they told you at exit interviews, um, and how you sort of implemented those you know pretty lofty goals uh, this summer. Uh, I think I would say I took it in pretty good. Uh, they wanted me to yeah, like everyone said, work on my skating, get faster, uh, more more competitive out there all the time. Every practice, uh, every time you show up to the gym, you just get that kind of mentality so I really feel like I put it into myself and I had a huge summer I feel it feeling ready and uh, I'm blessed to be here right now. Do you, do you feel more confident uh, going into this year than, than you did maybe in years past because you have that experience and, and the training now under your belt? Yeah totally uh, I feel much more confident uh, I think that's a huge part especially for my game so I always believe in myself but I would say I believe my extra in myself this year. Uh, Brad said that you guys skated a lot together this summer. Um, did you also utilize his skating coach as well? Yeah, we used the same skating coach, uh, Daniel Broberg, back home. And then I've been skating a bunch with uh, my brother. Um, he's a little bit of a skills coach back home too. So, yeah, uh, different coaches all the time get uh, different kind of perspectives of everything. So uh, just being used to be on the ice a lot, I think that it helped me a lot. Uh, Kira, how did uh, summer training go? I know you were on Long Island uh, working there. Uh, good. Um, I stayed in Long Island for a bit before I went back home, so I worked out there for maybe a month. Who would you work with out there, some of the Long Island goaltenders, coaches and stuff? Well, I only did the workouts there, no uh, skating, so uh, I went there. Uh, my girlfriend knows, knows uh, someone that works or has a, its own gym there, so I got to work out individually with them. Coming into this season, obviously things are different than you know last season, where you know, you're expected to be one of the goaltenders here. What, what were some of the things that you worked on to make sure that you were either the one A or one B here? Um, probably just you know getting stronger, um, so I can play a full season, um, gain some weight. Obviously, comes with that too. Um, that on ice, just small details you got to work on, but that's every summer. What was the most valuable thing you learned about? that whole experience of last year that can take you forward in your career? Um, you know, just the whole experience, just getting to feel what it's like playing in the playoffs, um, getting to play a couple more NHL games like the regular season um, helps a lot just to, like last year basically, you know what to expect now and uh, now it's time to go. Is that almost half the battle, knowing what to expect? Uh, 
I guess, but uh, not half the battle. But <laughs> but it, it, it helps for sure, you know. Um, just over the summer too, you know what to work on. Um, how you gotta feel, you know, start start camp, and how you gotta feel on the ice too. I asked uh, Vitek about your partnership, and he said to me, "It's great, but you know, Kira is a very quiet." low-key guy. So tell me a little bit about the partnership and now that V is kind of a loud guy, <laughs> how's that partnership? Uh, good, you know, uh, in the morning he's the first guy that just starts talking to me um, <laughs> and, you know, it kind of doesn't stop, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's great. He's a fun guy and uh, I opened up a little bit more too now this year, you know, just feel more comfortable around the guys, um, try to be more open too and, you know, he's, he's been great all 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 last year too. And you guys are good friends, but obviously, there's. Do, do you anticipate and do you want it there to be a battle for the number one role in the net this year? Uh, I guess yeah. You obviously want that, but um, at the end of the day, we're still teammates and we got to push each other. Uh, so I guess a friendly competition is the best word to put it. You know, obviously both both want to play, but uh, the more we push each other in practice and games, uh, I think the better the outcome is for both of us. And to that point, how important is it, and knowing what you went through last year, um, to have two solid goalies during the course of a regular season? Because it is difficult in some, at some points in the season for every goalie. Yeah, I mean, in today's game, a goalie doesn't play 70 games anymore, you know. So, so you've got to have a, two reliable goalies that, you know, can get the job done. What was it like for you to, to go back home uh, to your hometown after knowing what you did in, in the playoffs? Uh, was it kind of like a like a local hero kind of situation? <laughs> uh, no, I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> um, it's funny because in Switzerland, they usually, or at least in a small town like mine, you know, they don't really care about what you do and, and stuff. So it was nice, you know, you get home and you can do whatever you want. You can go out and not everyone is talking to you about it, about hockey, you know. Sorry, there's always the conversation about taking a step forward from the previous season. What does that mean for you personally? Um, just consistency. You know, you wanna you wanna be good on a consistent consistent level and uh, do it at a high level. Um, so I guess that's the next next step for me to just uh, you know push push myself to be consistently a, a good goaltender. Thanks, Kira. Thanks.